Right guys, before we get started in this tasty, tasty Cape York series, I'm gonna do a massive giveaway. I, I said it on Instagram, I'm doing a massive giveaway. Now, how it works is each video, for the first three videos, will win a prize. The prizes will be a fridge, a Dobinson's fridge from A2 Off-Road, a shower tent from Outback Campers, a Vast Explore water tank system. They're the things that I'm giving away. So what you need to do is obviously subscribe to my channel. You need to, for the first three videos, you need to drop a comment and drop a like, because they're your entries. The more comments, the more likes, the more entries you get. But you also need to follow, follow those three companies on Instagram. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's get on to the first episode, guys. Choo choo! It's been a while guys, it has been too long and I apologise. So let's wind back the clock a little bit. So what have I been up to? So this episode is Cape York part one, but I need to fill you in of what happened before then. So since then, uh, I was just about to start filming some projects that I'm doing to the car to kind of just jazz it up a little bit. Um, not big mods. It's just more uh, comfort level. So I ripped out all the carpet. I put stage one and two sound deadening and floor vinyl, real tough vinyl uh, flooring, mainly because after Fraser, which I'll leave a link up there somewhere for the uh, episode of Fraser, kids just put sand all through the car and I just needed to eliminate that so I could just brush it out and didn't get into the carpets and stuff like that. So that happened. And then as I pulled the carpet out, I realized that I wanted to do some new stuff to the uh, drawer system here. I, I didn't like the setup. I was just having frustrations with the setup. So I kind of customized the setup that I have now and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of a rundown of this. It was just at the time when I was filming or starting to film these episodes of the mod, I got the call from Sam saying that yes, confirmation for Cape Trip and it didn't become a matter of me trying to film this, it was a matter of finish the projects that I needed to get done in order to get to the Cape. So with those projects, again, I'll do a rundown in another video, is, so I redid the drawer system, I redid the uh, 12 volt system into a better manageable place and did the flooring. So there was a lot going on there. So it was one of those things, it could have been a couple episodes that I could have done, but I just needed to get it done. Again, I'll do a rundown once I've finished. It's just this little piece of the puzzle that I need to finish. And then once that's done, I'll do a rundown for you guys of the new draw system. So how did it all happen? So it started out with my friend Alan, who I work with, um, sent me a post that Sam Isles was looking for a videographer. And look, I'm not, I'm not like to, say that I'm a professional but I know my way around a camera or two and a drone so I just kind of threw my hat in the ring and crossed the fingers and it kind of worked out that I was available when the dates were on so I was very lucky with that I sincerely thank Sam for letting me come along the trip it was it was an amazing trip and I just need to get you guys to uh, subscribe to that channel hit that notification bell because this Cape series is going to be awesome and I've got some other little episodes coming in as well in between and I've just got some other big projects that I'm happening to the car before I go on to my next trip. I've got some good trips planned but there's just some things I need to change and tweak and this leads me to my next um, thing. I want to give a massive shout out to A2 Off-Road. Uh, they are my main sponsor for the channel and I sincerely thank them for what they're about to do and what they have done in the past to my car and help me get to the Cape. Um, We'll see in a, you guys will see in coming episodes of what's going to happen and what's changing with the car and I'll go through a rundown of what we're going to do. Carol CHPP Consultancy. Now, I need you guys to understand, I asked for help to get to the Cape. So, I asked a couple of friends. Now, I'm not talking about people that are just whatever. These people are actually friends. Like Stan, who owns CHPP Consultancy, is, we've been mates since high school. So, when I asked him for help, he was he didn't even hesitate, so I just want to sincerely thank him. And as I go through the series, I'm gonna do shout outs for them through the series. I just want to give a massive shout out to Vast Explore. Man, they're water tank guys. If you haven't already got one, you need to get one because these things are awesome. I love the way they work. I love that there's, there's no mechanical parts to it. There's no electrical parts to it. It just works. And it was a really saving grace for us up at the Cape York. So I want to have a massive shout out to them. And a massive, <laughs> massive shout out to my work who actually shouted some fuel, which was super, I'm super grateful for that. So uh, thanks, thanks Inspec. Um, right, we're gonna get into this first week, this part one of Cape York. Let's do it. 
boy. It's about that time to go. <laughs> Give me a C! <laughs> what a rig! Last minute installs. Haven't even left. Last minute installs are on. Already out the mechanics. Hey! Probably about five minutes from the boat ramp. There's reef. We don't have a tinny, but we can swim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a very swim swimmer. <laughs> that was definitely a joke. So, day one. Whew. Can't complain. Can't complain. Day one of the Cape trip. Up here with Sammy Isles, Mike and his missus, and Darcy, my good mate Davo, who's you know. Mate, magical. Absolutely magical. I never switch sides. Like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad. Let her ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between. I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I never so packed for the stack. Never lied on the back. Got a bag from the way that I write it. Queen looking Tyson. Do that I survived. Doing 80 to the house. Then I hit it to the sky. Change haters on a tirade. Talking to the grip in the face. Be still. Let that hate stuff fade. We all with From my lips feel big from the bit Take a sip till I pass out Try and get grit but it don't make sense Cause you can lose life on this fast route Yeah, turn thoughts to a cash cow I might flip that to the glass house I don't need the accolades I'm in love with the chase I just wanna eat, save a spot at the table Beast with the slap, pin myself on the map You long with the wind but we knowing that it's cap Five hour flights, couple nights at the flat To be real, could you see me making moves well It's gonna be cold. freezing cold it's Oh yeah, it's so cold <laughs> Good way to wake up, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so I'm still half asleep, so it's gonna be good just running in, jumping in. Beautiful temp last night, though. Oh, oh yeah. God. It was awesome. Parker, okay, do you reckon my car is capable enough? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go for a run, like two birds. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we're gonna go for a swim and a run. Yeah, we're gonna warm up again. You don't need to sell Sam on a run. <laughs> I'm good for a swim, but probably not a run. Yeah. Like old mate, um. Wait, no entry. Oh, this is a sign. Well, you shouldn't go this way. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> well, you remember the guy at the servo giving us the hard sell on the coffee? <laughs> Sam's like, I don't drink coffee. He's like, best coffee you'll ever have. You don't like coffee, you free. Righto, time to jump in. Go on, fuck it. Oh, we all fit in. Oh my god. Yeah. That's how you gotta do it. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> Just gotta run in, bro. <laughs> Just gotta do it. Just gotta run in. Just gotta commit. <laughs> Just gotta commit. <laughs> oh, yeah. My nipples. Oh, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I like doing the slow. My nipples. <laughs> oh. Yeah, cool contact. Just gotta do it. Just gotta... <laughs> How'd you feel about the swim, mate? Ooh, fucking good. Freezing, man. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Wakes you up. Yeah, nothing like feel it. Better. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Ooh. Cairns is going to be a headache today, but... That's prepared us for it. Yeah. So we're currently in the uh, Bunnings car park here, waiting for Michael to rock up. Uh, we're going to do a bit of stuff to his awning. A little, I've seen it this morning, and um, it's a bit shaky, so we're going to do some quick mods before we head up to Cairns. I uh, head, out, head out past cans, I should say. 
But uh, the last couple of days have been pretty, we've been pretty sport for campsites. Hideaway Bay was amazing. It was so refreshing this morning at camp, going for that swim and uh, just cheering really, to be honest. It was super, super good. Yeah, so pretty much, I didn't do a tent, I didn't bracket the awning properly. I only put it to the mesh, we're in a bit of a hurry. Did it to the mesh of this roof rack, when it realis realistically it should be you bolted around here. And now getting to cans, it's got a bit loose, so we're gonna quickly move the tent over, re-bracket this, so we don't do a uh, losing awning job, so. Awning <laughs> delete. Yeah, awning delete, should we say. Awning delete, that is not what you want on the trip. But, this is probably the last stop we're gonna have before we can do these sort of things, Yeah, eh? yeah exactly, this will be the last stop. Yeah. Like, at the moment, we're in a Bunnings, at the Bunnings car park, <laughs> yeah. aka the workshop. The workshop, so. might have ten. Well, yeah, we've both, both of us have packed up, repacked our cars, getting ready for this corrugation, so. Yep. <sighs> yeah, it's the fingers crossed, <laughs> hope for the best. All right. We're on with the jack. Yeah. <laughs> Tool pro for the win. Tool pro for the win. Um, you bolts. You bolts. Nah, me bolts. <laughs> so we made it to our first nice campsite. What do you reckon, yeah. mate? This one's pretty good, eh? Like, actually worked out real well. Like, we went to another campsite and it was just like a, someone's backyard. <laughs> tracked our way north and yeah, look at this. Beach, yeah. beach front's just right there. Like. Beach front, it's right on the water. We're tucked in from the elements as well. But. Can't complain, the water's just there. Oh, it's bloody ripper, man. It's better than wherever it's going to stay. Very much enthusiasm. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to go for a little explore around the caravan park. Apparently there's a bar and grill up here. Well, let's stay away from that bar, right, David? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's grill more bar. <laughs> So we just come down to the beach for a little look see. Found these little boats. <laughs> Gonna give them a little float down the river. Yeah, run. Run. Oh, I got stuck. Got stuck. <laughs> that was a complete fail. But it is an absolute, I'm trying to do my best to show you the background here. That's the background. Righto guys, I need to pause the video a little bit there. I need to give a massive shout out to Vast Explore. You guys have seen it and I've used them before. These water tanks, now I swear by these water tanks and I'm not just saying that. There's not just many products that I just want to get behind, but what they did and how they've marketed and how they've done this and created this awesome water tank that just easily slips up and slips down. When I was up at Cape York, this thing was a godsend. It was just absolutely a breath of fresh air and so easy to fill up and use while I was on the tally track. And man, there was two of us I can tell you now, that water tank would have lasted for about three or four showers and it was just awesome. It, it, it's just an awesome water tank. I really need you guys to check them out. I'll leave a link to all their socials and their website in the description below. Give them a follow, give them a shout out. If you need a water tank, go hit them up because they are the bee's knees. Good morning everyone. This is day four, I think, day four. Um, on a trip to the tally track with Sam Isles, Michael from Dare to Explore, and Darcy from Wheel Advent Wheeling Adventures. We stayed at Alice Beach last night, RV park, and I'm glad we spent the money because absolutely mint spot. Waves are just crashing right here in front of me. But I actually come down here because if I'm awake in the morning, I'm up. I'm up, I'm doing something, especially where I am and what we're doing. I'm just, I just need to catch sunsets and sunrises. So I just um, packed up the drone, two batteries, and there's an island out, about 4K out, I found. Um, and I flew around that, but I started to get a little bit of low battery, so uh, <laughs> hurried up back. But so far, I'll flick the drone up, shots up in a second. Just some mint spot, mint spot. Um, you'll see in the drone shot.
We're waiting for Sam and Darcy because they're still in Cairns at the moment. <clears throat> what we're waiting on is Darcy to get his timing belt fixed and Sam had a few other things to do in Cairns as well so he ended up staying there with Darcy. I think today is when we all meet up and then once we've met up Cape Tribulation. I think that's we're going through the Daintree and I'm super excited about that. I'm loving that we're going through this East Coast Road. I didn't think we'd actually get it until we're going straight out west but I am super stoked that we're going to be doing that. And so far the campsites we've been staying at have just been so good and the temperature has been so good. I'm not really a um, summer person. I sweat so bad. So we're we going to start cooking breakfast. Might go for a hot shower while I can. Enjoy that. And then um, cook breakfast. Take it easy this morning. That's going to be the goal. So, I uh, thought I was trying to be deadly. <laughs> I uh, crashed the drone. Crashed the drone. <laughs> Long story short, I crashed the drone. Everything's alright, I broke a propeller. And that's why you buy a good drone. And um, got some good footage. I, I, seen, I knew it would have been okay because when I seen it hit the tree, it was still trying to hover, which means for me that it wasn't a hard landing. It was a pretty soft ground, too. So, uh yeah crash drone good fun so we pretty much finished on the bloomfield track heading on our way to lion's den we were meant to stop or we kind of did stop at cape tribulation but just to have lunch i really wanted to uh, go in there and have a good look at the beach and stuff like that but i think we might back track. back track this way on the way home and get a proper look at cape tribulation and uh Maybe stay the night there? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, we're meeting up with Darcy at Lions Den, so he'll be on his way in anytime soon. That uh, Bloomfield track, it was pretty, it was okay. There was a lot of steep parts to it, but not um, nothing hectic, Cute, few good water crossings. Um, other than that, it was, it. some of it was much, like, some of it was like cemented, so it wasn't a super hard track. I could see that if it was, in the wet season you'd have a you'd have a tough time but um pretty much yeah we're ready to hit the lines den set up camp and we're getting so close to the tally track i can almost taste it <laughs> every turn that we're doing i'm just like blown away with the country that we're seeing it's it's really really good what do you reckon davo it's beautiful beautiful <laughs> nice and green i love it it's great <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll check back in at the lines den Creature comforts, peace should come first. If I keep eating sweets like this, soon my teeth ain't gonna work. Used to sleep through love hurts, deep in slumber. Hard to bring your eyes sight to see that you need your comfort. Same shirt, same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just checking out the creek at the back of the lines down. I'm getting eaten by bugs. Ah, ah, ah. I'm getting attacked by bugs. Oh, green ants. That's what I'm getting bitten by. <laughs> Lion's Den Hotel, hey? You see it in uh, magazines, you read about it on the internet. It is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful waterfall down that way. Choo 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 choo. Who's gonna go for a swim? Oh, oh is everyone vlogging? Yeah. I'm, not going now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. Some man's vlogging. You call me vlogging. You call me vlogging. I was vlogging off, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <The grand>. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> let your hair down. Let your hair down. <laughs> so no one has game to jump in the river. Look, it's got a hole in Maybe tomorrow morning, not now. <laughs> I don't I'm gonna take my pants off to go in. Darcy's keen. <laughs> don't we? <laughs> right, guys. I need to give a massive shout out to A2 Off Road. You know the deal. They are the one-stop shop for all your 
four-wheel drive needs from accessories to performance to suspension to GVM upgrades whatever you need for your four-wheel drive go hit them up link is in the description below let's get on with the video Things that happen when you're with Sam Isles. Probably going to meet. Um, oh, sorry. Gonna probably going to meet some of, uh, I guess, my heroes in the in the game. Hopefully. Well, Sam's a hero, right? Yeah, too. <laughs> but he's like. <laughs> but it's all for adventure. Like, we can't. Oh. I wonder. Uh, I met him once. So I, I reckon maybe, maybe he won't remember me. Maybe <laughs> he will. He cool. can't forget Akka. It's like Akka. <laughs> Can't. That's a weird name, but everyone remembers it. Well, uh, my tie relation to him is um, I did some pre-work before he went on the cape on his car. So. Oh, so he wants to check you out. He wants to say, what have you done here? Yeah, what have you done here? <laughs> and then if he asks, well, no, no, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> hey, I big timing. Decent. Should go far. He must be still a while, a while away. Yo, Jay's got a coffee. Has Jay's got a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> What about a boost juice? Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> That was probably the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's pretty cool. Man. It's, man, it's they're such cool guys too. That's what makes it sick. Oh. Like that. It's just crazy, like, yeah. Even with Sam, like meeting him for the first time is crazy. Yeah, this whole trip's crazy. But, no. but you wouldn't you wouldn't get this sort of stuff without Sam really though. <laughs> yeah. I got all the hookups. That's what we need. Um, I don't know who's <laughs> dumb idea. I don't know whose dumb idea it was to put a fucking impact driver on it, but Definitely wasn't mine. Makita, if you're watching. It's not Makita. Makita, if you're watching. It's not Makita, it's Terex. Oh, Terex. Oh, he's trying it. Oh, there it is. What do you reckon there, Davo? Um, yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> what do you reckon, my fire, mate? Yeah, well, we got it done quicker than this, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've pulled up to a random campsite on the side of the road. Ah, oh, that's not a uh, it's a it's not quarry. a campsite. It's a quarry. <laughs> it's a side of a road, and um, very sunny. I'm trying not to. You're just gonna have to deal with that. Ah, glass is on. So yeah, we pulled up on the side of the road here. Literally the side of the road. Started wow. camp. They went to uh, use the chainsaw. Oh, I gotta stay over here. Went to use a chainsaw, an Aldi chainsaw, $100 chainsaw, and. <laughs> the pull cord ripped straight out. And then Davo tried to fix it and they wrecked it more. No, he did. And in that time while they're still fixing it, I made the fire. <laughs> I need to get more firewood already. But yeah, so I made the fire. Get that going, cooking dinner tonight. We're having. Uh, tacos or sweet loaded sweet potato this is about it this is it's been a crazy day today i got to uh got to meet one of my one of my favorite idols two of my favorite idols today for it was jason and simon that was gnarly we had a big chat and um yeah thanks to sam for that that's just like like a lifelong dream to meet them guys it's, it's crazy and they were just so awesome i'm on a super high right now so Pretty much, I'm just going to enjoy. I've been trying to do a fair bit of filming and for each spot I'm going to, but 
it's hard because like I've said in a couple of videos I just want to enjoy the moment I just want to enjoy without filming all the time and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to cover as much as I can in each video too but pretty much I'm just enjoying my time enjoying this awesome experience with Sam and super stoked yee yee Good boy, Davo. Hey, on the <laughs> waters. No breakfast beers for me. This trip has been nothing but a short of eventful. Just got, um, it's nothing bad, obviously. We're just getting breath owed by the local cops, and that's a good thing. Keeping the road safe. They're getting all of us, though. Yeah, so we've done ourselves a bit of mischief. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Yeah. Do you reckon there's a welder in Cohen? Yeah, we're at least trying to get to there. Yeah, I'll be able to strap it. Yeah. Um, have we got a bottle jack or some sort? Yeah. I've got one. Can, yeah, we've just got to jack it up. It's That's like crazy. crazy. Yeah, it hit a bump and it just went bang. He was overtaking me. Yeah. Playing silly buggers. <laughs> I know. Fuck, scary to dip and it moved a bit, eh? Yeah. I felt it when I was trying to... Davo, you come real handy in this trip, haven't hey. you, man? Yeah, I've done nothing. <laughs> so we've had a bit of a wild morning. Yeah, uh, well, I snapped a main trailing arm. Yeah, you would have seen that. And um, we're pulled up in Cohen. You know, I had to put my, I had to put my weld skills to the test and weld it all back together. And now we're about to. What am I welding now? Bracket. Exhaust bracket. I exhaust, snapped it. Weld an well. exhaust bracket. I snapped the exhaust bracket as well, so I've got to weld that as well. I think I put the work shirt on today. I didn't mean to actually do any work, but <laughs> here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm supposed to be on holiday. <laughs> no, but it's all in the name of fun. We're going to get this sorted so we can all get to the next camp. I think a beer, uh, drink is very well deserved today. Oh, mate, oh sure yes. Davo, you've had too many beers. Oh. <laughs> Um, let me just get my uh, yes. calculator. <laughs> it's Sunday too. Oh, Sunday double rates. time, double oh, time. Um, it's going to cost you a couple of drinks, but oh, it's all right. I it's think like it's going to Something I can do. Something I can do. <laughs> In these circumstances, of course. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to break down somewhere. You drink on the track, double jacks. So. Double jacks. <laughs> well, I don't know. Why don't you? Just... Did I do good, Sam? I think you did great. Did you're great. working on a Sunday, your day's off adventure, but today you're at work. Day's on. <laughs> day's on. Day's on adventure. Day's on. Dave. Dave's on. Dave's on. Let me catch you up. We're currently at the bends. Let me tap this. That's our campsite. Now today is kind of uh, where I'm gonna wrap up this first episode. So we've done a fair, we've had a fair bit going on lately. So I've, I know I'm gonna have to split this into, I think I'm gonna make it into a bit of a series. So today we're heading to Bramwell and then that's where the, this episode's gonna end. But next episode is the tally track. From there, Dave and I split the group and we're gonna make our own adventure. So when we're hitting back, it's gonna be massive drive. One massive drive as far as we can in one day. No fucking around, <laughs> to be honest. But I think we're hitting the, the tally track a day early, which is good. Um, we're just making good time. Good spots, good driving. Hasn't been too hectic. Uh, other than that, here we come, tally track. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. We've seen a picture of Nolan's 
I was seeing a video of Nolan's the other day, what well, didn't look too bad, we had to take a certain exit, but other than that, Palm Tree Creek's probably a gnarly one that I'm probably a little bit worried about, but mainly because I just don't have lockers, but I don't even think lockers are going to matter with this one, so let's just see how we go, <laughs> wish me luck, see you at Bramwell.